Hello, consider question number 16. It reads, uh, in another world, instead of Coulomb's law, electric force uh, of point like charge is given by this formula. So this is a different formula than the one we know. And here, alpha is a positive constant, or is a position vector of uh, charge Q relative to the charge capital Q. So uh, capital Q is our point charge, let's like this. And because of this charge at a distance R, which is our vector running towards small Q, this is how R vector is. And the interaction between these two charges is being uh, given by this expression. So uh, we need to answer uh, about uh, electric field, about line integration of EDL, about uh, surface integration in closed surface, and about conservative nature of electric field. So uh, let's start with the basic. Now, uh, as per the definition of electric field, we say um, if we consider it as a point charge or uh, we can say consider it as a test charge, so we will measure the force of interaction and the field is defined by as a force divided by test charge. So we are going to use this formula to identify the field formula. And you'll find field because of capital Q at a location or position vector R is going to be is equal to this divided by small q that means uh, it will be cancelling small q out and it will return like this so now the field will not be q upon 4 pi epsilon not r q r vector rather it will have this factor as well so uh, if you look at the option a it matches perfectly hence a is going to be the correct response now we uh, need to answer B, so we need to go for this line integration over the closed path. Now if you look at this integration carefully, then you'll find it's E dot DL. Then the expression of to which we used to say a uh, potential difference across a closed loop. Or we can multiply Q over here, so that's going to be QE, that is force dot DL. That's work done on a closed path. So work done on a closed path is going to be zero only if E is conservative, otherwise uh, it won't be. So we need to check for conservativeness of E. And we know to decide whether it's a conservative or not, we need to check about del cross E, that means gradient cross E. Now since E is a function of R only, and so we can use the coordinate uh, R theta phi instead of I cap, J cap, K cap. And if we use r theta phi, so a partial derivative of corresponding to r is del upon del r, corresponding to theta is 1 upon r del theta, and corresponding to phi it is 1 upon r sin theta del phi. And coefficients or, or, or uh, coefficients of these um, directions, we will find there's only r cap is there, or r vector is there. So we will have only e r component, e phi e theta will be zero. When you're going to expand it, then you'll find R cap will have uh, these cross product, which will make it zero. Similarly, minus phi will have these multiplication, which is going to be zero. Now, uh, differentiation of R function with respect to phi in partial differentiation will yield zero. Similarly, phi cap will also have a zero expression. So point is this cross product turn out to be zero. Since this cross product has turned out to be zero, we can claim that E is a conservative field. Since E is a conservative field, then E dot DL on a closed path must be zero. That means it agrees with the second option. Now, option C says about Gauss law. Now, if we use this electric field and do uh, dot D, uh, this uh, expression of E dot DS integration, then you'll find it will not be turning to this, we can check for a point charge, maybe for this, we can take a Gaussian surface like this. And then the surface is going to be, you know, uh, it's going to be expression, if I write it, it's going to be like integration E dot DS. This will have E expression, which is Q one minus under root alpha R divided by four pi epsilon naught r square because it's r vector and r cube so we can convert into r square and r cap 
and then we need to say uh, direction wise is going to be radial that's good so cos theta will become cos zero moreover area if you are going to write it like so it's going to be um, uh, ds now you find at r distance this all is going to be constant so ds is going to be 4 pi r square so this will be 4 pi r square and you will find this term will uh, this factor will be there so it won't be equal to q enclosed it will have r terms as well so gauss law is not going to be valid for this field so c will not be acceptable response and the d says uh, all are true but field is non-conservative we have just proven that this uh, field is conservative in nature hence we will mark a option and b option as the correct response thank you